Hello everyone, we have brought you yet another video which will help you and guide you to prepare for the IELTS exam. In this video, we will learn about the IELTS speaking test, how it is conducted, what question can be asked and how band scores are given. So let's begin. The IELTS speaking test has three parts, part one, and 3. The total duration of the test is 11 to 14 minutes as per Cambridge guidelines. And yes, you guessed it right. The speaking test is the shortest of all the four tests. There are certain features which are unique to the speaking test. Number 1. Speaking test is usually conducted on a different day. So your LRW, listening, reading and writing will not be on the same day as the speaking test. It could be a day or two before or after the LRW test. If you are booking the IELTS test for the first time, please make sure you choose a suitable speaking day and time slot as soon as the window opens or IDP will randomly assign you a day for the test. Number 2. It's a one-on-one -on -one test. So just you and the examiner are going to be a part of it. Number 3. Although the band scores are decided by the examiner, pretty much once you are done with the test, the whole conversation is recorded. So if you see a recorder on the examiner's table, no need to worry or get nervous about it because it's not for you. Remember, the recordings are done for quality purposes and to ensure that the IELTS speaking examiners are fair with the test takers. Now. Let's learn about the structure of the exam. There are three parts in the IELTS speaking test, part 1, part 2 and part 3. Part 1 is the interview. In this section, the examiner would be asking you short answer questions based on familiar topics. The responses should be 2-3 to three sentences long. These questions could be about your hometown, family, food, restaurants, television, travel, social media, habits and so on. Part 1 or the interview goes on for about 4-5 to five minutes. Then comes part 2, the cue card. In this part, the examiner would be giving you a cue card with questions written on it. You need to speak on the given topic for 1-2 to two minutes. A 1 minute long preparation time is also given when you could make some key notes. You can write during the preparation time and the stationery will be provided before part 2 begins. Remember, this is the only part where the interviewee gets to read the question in place of listening, gets time to prepare for the answer is allowed to make keynotes to guide them as they speak. The test taker needs to address all the questions in their responses. The cue card round takes around 3 to 4 minutes. Part 3. This is the final part of the IELTS speaking test. This is also called the discussion round. The topic in part 3 is connected to the one in part 2. Here, you need to state your opinion, compare, predict, talk about the past, make speculations and discuss habits of people in general. Examples of part 3 questions. Part 3 goes on for 4-5 to five minutes. This marks the end of the speaking test. Now. Let's understand how bands are given in the IELTS speaking test. Candidates' performance is marked on the basis of four parameters, which are This parameter checks how easy it is to follow the test taker. Also, it checks that all the parts of the questions have been addressed in the sufficient detail and the ideas are linked naturally. Then comes pronunciation. As the name suggests, this criteria assists the pronunciation or intelligibility of the speaker. In other words, the candidate's speech should be easy to understand or follow. Next, we have lexical resources. This checks if the candidate has used a wide variety of appropriate vocabulary items while answering the questions. Repeating words frequently could lower one's band score in this criteria. Finally comes grammatical range and accuracy. This parameter checks if the candidate is able to express their ideas using a range of sentence structures accurately. If somebody wants to get their desired band score in speaking, then they just need to work on these four parameters. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.